if you've got a larger or heavier kayak, well then you probably need a kayak cart like this one. Let me show you the ins and outs of it and we'll put it through a torture test in mud. If it can go through mud, it can go through anything. Stay tuned. This small cart will work on a small kayak, but if you've got a typical fishing kayak that's fairly wide, my Jackson Cusa FD is 34 inches across and has an irregular hull that I'll show you in a minute, a cart this size just isn't going to work. Two things are going to happen. First, I'm going to have a difficult time putting this wide kayak centered on this. And the second, through experience, is that it's going to collapse because it just can't handle the, the way that this kayak is made and it, the way it shifts forward when you put it on a cart this small. The second reason is because of the shape of my hull. You can see that it's not regular. And when you take a small kayak cart like this and try and support it, you can see how you're probably gonna screw it up. And that's why this would continually collapse when I tried to put this beast of a kayak on top. So we need to go to something bigger and better. So I've got the Yak Hacker cart here. They're a new company in the kayak space. I hadn't heard of of them until I saw this cart. And this cart is obviously a lot bigger, a lot sturdier. It's got four inch tires and the pads rotate. So hopefully they will conform to the hull on this heavy Jackson Cusa. Now I've got a rudder that sticks down in the back and that would interfere with lifting it from the front and putting it on the cart. So instead, I'm going to do it in reverse. I'm going to grab the rear and rotate it over to set it down. And that has the added advantage of using the kickstand right here a little bit better to keep this aligned and upright while I put the cart on, while I put the kayak on. Here's a visual on why it's not going to work lifting it up from the front. You can see that my rudder digs in and gets in the way down there. But no problem, I'll just lift it from the back. So far so good, you can see that the wide pads deal with my weird hull shape just fine. Now what I've got to learn to do is move it a little bit more over to the right to try and center it up. So I'm going to move it over and back a little to get it into the balance point that I want. The Yak Hacker Kayak comes with these clips that you can put onto your kayak wherever you want and they allow the strap to guide themselves through these clips. Now I've got my handle right here on both sides so I don't need these but if my balance point was a little bit farther back or up front where you would mount these is not really on the top but up here high on the side. Well, let me run this through, clamp it down, and see how it moves. Sometimes it's easier, to, instead of pu pulling it, is to push it. You can see it works just as well, either pulling or pushing. So I think I'll move this back a little bit more to get it to the center of balance. I'll put one of the uh, guides right here. But now the real test is, will this work on sand? It's got the wide tires, and that's what we're going to go do next. I'm out here with the Yak Hacker cart, and I've come up with a better test for it. I've got a deep berm right down here that I have to go through some sand that's hard packed, but then you get out in the mud and the mud is going to be the ultimate test. Let's get this thing going, see how it does.
Well, you can see that it handled it just fine. I was able to get it out, get it launched, and ready to go fishing. I'll show you how to put this thing together next, but let me go ahead and wrap up the video for those that aren't interested in the assembly. I tell you, this thing is a heavy, heavy duty kayak cart. It dealt with my heavy Jackson Cusa FD as easily as it dealt with my Tarpon 130. And it got it through the mud so I could get it into the water. I'll put a link to this down below if you're interested in it. I tell you, I think it's gonna be a good cart, good solid cart for anyone who buys one. They sent me their kayak cart for me to assemble and check out. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. The good news is that they have comprehensive instructions on how to do this, so I think even I can figure it out. The first step is to take the kickstand, run it through here, and then line up the three pins on the back. Then we take the other piece and we attach it like so, and there are pins on both sides that need to snap together. Once you have the pins inserted, you snap these down, and then everything is ready to go to the next step. Next, you take the wheels, put them on, and then lock them in place by turning this right here. Now we're at this point right here. We have the kickstand, and now we just have to put the pads on the top. These just slip right into the slots and rotate down and now this is ready to go. We strap it across and run the strap through this very heavy duty buckle right here. And this is going to lock it to the kayak. It comes with these utility pieces right here that you screw onto the sides of the kayak and then you can run the cord through them and that locks the cord in place and keeps the cart from slipping forward or back on your kayak. 